What's up, everybody? This is the sick man here, and today I'm on the Some Ordinary <laughs> Podcast with Oompa Nux and, well, you know him, you love him, Mudahar. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, that one was a lie. <laughs> that was better than all of our True. intros through history. Oh, man. You, well, we got that on the first try. You got to wing it sometimes. You got to wing it. You got to. Can we get you every week just to do the intro? Like, <laughs> oh, my God. Just we could, in, like, we could, we could get a cameo. I, hey, I need, I need money somehow now, I suppose. Hey, hey it's oh me, my Hank God. from Breaking Bad, and welcome to the Some <sighs> Ordinary Podcast. Yeah. So, uh, since last time we had Ackman on the, uh, on the, on the show we were discussing what might have been the wildest youtube drama that i've ever witnessed out of the tv community no less you know yeah usually i expect wild things in the entire youtube world from you know the makeup community you know shit like trash like that if you will you know what i mean but uh when it comes to the tv calibration community (laughs) you know the people that are like I just, I just want you to understand there are people out there whose job it is to make your television look as crisp as possible and there is drama within that. So we we have officially lost the plot, ladies and gentlemen. Now, what started off as an Elden Ring review has led to the point where one of the best YouTubers on the platform has lost their monetization over a series of events. And uh, we're here now, okay? The offender has not ever faced any persecution or anything by YouTube, except, you know, the person who chose to call out injustice. It's a wild, wild fucking month. <laughs> That's all I'm going to... That's all I can really say, to be honest. I mean, I'll let Ackman take the floor here because it's it's a wild thing. Yeah, it's it's been a very uh, wild and crazy time. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. You guys kind of kind of lead me where you want. You know, so what I, do you, I've been what do you want to know about? Time. I've seen a lot of messed up stuff. This is the worst thing I've ever seen on YouTube. Yeah, this is crazy, dude. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it was interesting because after we filmed the last episode, I remember like fucking a couple hours later, you tell me about like the behind the scenes of like your mom being called. And I'm like, the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> like, wait, what? How did that happen? And then. For some reason, like in the United States, like they'll they'll like give out your personal information on like a yeah. fucking you know just through like various lists. Yeah, yeah, Don't yeah. Do that yeah. doxing thing. It's like yeah, it's too so, easy. Now, ever since all of that's happened, what's even wilder is like the whole concept of like doxing. The definition of it has been brought up. Uh, obviously, like there's been some weird shift on individuals online who are like now trying to like you know. Th- yes, there's weird but sides really being doxing? played in all this. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and, and and I I don't really care. Like at the end of the day, right? Like somebody's <laughs> going out of their way to, to find personal information and then utilize it to like call. Fa- like this is the last thing I ever expected. Like family members being called over a fucking. Elden Ring YouTube beef. Like, what yeah, the fuck? Man, that's insane, dude. <laughs> Times are crazy, man. Should, should we do, like, a, a quick quick summary version, TLDR, of what's going on in case someone's tuning in right now? Yeah, I think I think we have the best man here to tell us about <laughs> oh, the entire God. TLDR. Oh, my God. Give, give us well, a, it's give so us a long. quick there is, summary for the audience. There is a really good... Uh, there's a really good post that people have been putting around that really summarizes it. Um, long story short... Uh, this guy false flagged videos of a really small channel. Uh, larger YouTubers got wind of it, called him out for it. He doubled down, started doing all sorts of crazy shit. People found out stuff in his in his background. He lied about the things he said in his background. Uh, deleted all of, all of his accounts. People started getting more curious, tracking down you know what this guy's really like. Turns out he was previously banned. Uh, turns out he's not a real TV calibrator. Turns out he's scamming people. Turns out all this crazy shit. And um, in an effort to get him banned off of YouTube for a variety of different things, I in turn was punished for that uh, with having videos age restricted and my uh, uh, channel demonetized. Uh, and yeah, he, he called my mom, doxed her and posted videos encouraging his fans to dox me. Uh, and this is not the first time that he has harassed another content creator's family. So that's, I suppose, a very rough, rough, long and short of it. Not the first time he's ever done this? Like yeah, he's no. called up other people's moms, too? Oh my I don't God. know about their mothers, but there's a, there's a guy that filed an IC3 report with the FBI against Quantum because Quantum was spoofing him and his girlfriend's phone numbers. So they would call each other like 40 times a day 
And once he uh, he filed this report, the call stopped. Uh, and, and he sent me an email. Or he, he forwarded me an email of the email he sent to Quantum TV uh, back in 2020. So this is like this is not the first time he's reached out to other people's families. I mean, I I I, I could I could imagine like when these IC three reports are being fought. Like, what's so weird to me is like obviously it seems as though he's got a pattern of doing this kind of shit, right? Yeah. Like all of this stuff could be sent over to YouTube. I have no like people have been booted off the platform for way less. Like way less yeah. than all of this. Well, then you also had the uh, you also had the deleted tweets that YouTube got really like you know mad about. Yeah, and fu- like the 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 tweets the that they ones. themselves asked me to delete, which I did comply and delete them. <laughs> and then they were like, well, uh, "Shouldn't have done that." Well, the, so it's like they ask you to delete the tweet, and then it's like, "Well, you're still getting fucked." Yeah, I don't <laughs> Why? know. Who cares? You got rid of it. Who the, gives yeah. a shit? You got rid of whatever evidence. Yeah, I think I, I told you <laughs> like, when we were talking last night, Muda. The tweet was up for no. five hours. It was up for five hours, and if you look in the screenshots, the top bar of the of the screenshot is green because I was on a call with my partner manager as I screenshotted it, and as he was telling me to delete it. Or basically saying you should probably delete it because he's not telling me what to do, but he's giving me advice. At least you have a partner manager. Crazy thing is I only got one on May 31st because after after like the third investigation YouTube conducted where they said, yep, no, Quantum's clean. He's all good. After I submitted like a 3,500 word dossier on him, then I was like, okay, I'm going to go to the public and I'm going to tell people the incompetence of your community guidelines and copyright teams and how they failed to enforce the following policies. And then after that email, they were like, okay, this guy probably deserves to talk to somebody. And that's when they hooked me up with I feel someone. Like some, I feel like it was like one YouTube employee that, yeah, like one YouTube employee must have received something in like the business email or some shit because of, I guess, maybe a tweet that was made or like the whole situation, really. And that was probably way too much for like somebody in the back end. They're like, fuck it. How dare, how dare this happen? <laughs> Remove yeah, it. Yeah, some, <laughs> all of it. Some it's so it. strange. Some intern just slipped and fell on the destroy livelihood button. Is it is it like indefinite? Has YouTube said like it's or is it like maybe a month or two that you're going to be losing monetization? It is or like completely just indefinite. Again, it's like people have been removed for way less on the platform. Yeah, you know, it's like that people, makes no sense. Yeah, it's like and it, it, the thing is, is like it's such an obvious satirical tweet because my 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 Turing test for this right like to know that it's like you're on the right side is like when you can get keemstar h3 h3 philly d basically the fucking polar opposites of the of the internet yep. who are like wait yeah a yeah. yeah like yeah, like, yeah, wait, yeah wait a minute guys we might hate each other's guts but but this, exactly. we all agree here somehow like you, what the fuck you know what's funny <laughs> is they proved the point youtube proved the fucking point of the satire like they are more concerned with bullshit that doesn't matter than stuff that actually does they, it, it, in a sense by silencing all of this they've proven everything i've said this is the dark age of youtube well e- e- even like i remember I remember like Keem was Keem keeps talking about the whole like Ethan like the NRA thing that he did like yeah. uh, two weeks ago, yeah. right? And uh, you know, it, it obviously there's a there's a bias between those two over there, right? But uh, the whole concept is like if if Ethan gets like a strike, which obviously for saying something like that you get a strike. It's like what I said yesterday, right? Like even if I jokingly would say that I'm gonna put like rap Caleb, right? Like let's say <laughs> yeah. it was a joke, and again, what like, the fuck? Complete joke. Yeah, look at it. Well, Why it's a would complete you say joke, that? right? Like we're, I'm calling the police, yeah. and, I, and I'm ta- and I'm taking we're whittling that back, you know? Like exactly, right? Like yeah. you, you can't. There are certain jokes, there are certain things you can't say, right? Without repercussions, whether that be legal or on the platform that you're on. So obviously he gets a strike for his channel. But I think, all right, in, in a normal, like, world, that should have gotten a channel demonetized versus this, you know? Like, th- this clearly seems like it's coming out of bias. And again, I don't want, like, Ethan Klein demonetized or, or removed right. off YouTube. I'm just saying for, like, there there's no form of, like, like scope in all of this, right? Yeah. Like, there's no, like, you can't say that and get like a slap on the wrist because let's be real a strike compared to what you got is a very big slap on the wrist right like that's it like you'll you'll get rid of that in like three fucking months they've said this is indefinite and it's like over satirical fucking tweets <laughs> and again years of work years and, of and, the, and the other thing the is academy wasted 
We we literally talked even about this last night. I'm like, so you get the strike for <laughs> fucking nudity, right? Like sexual content and nudity, but they don't even time code and tell you where the fuck the sexual and nudity content happened, right? It's like yeah. you could you could make a fucking two hour long video and it's like, well, you had some fucking pussy in it somewhere, so we're removing you where. <laughs> I would love to use the YouTube built-in editor and just trim that shit out and make the video public again, but they won't let you do that. It so kind of like, makes me think it, that, it really does. that there's probably some other reason, and it's not the cucumber in the mouth, because like I said last night, I was like, you know, if, if someone at YouTube actually came to me and said, yeah, we, we had to demonet or we had to take this video down because you poorly photoshopped a cucumber next to someone's mouth, that's a sentence coming out yeah. of your mouth that... Yeah. That you can't believe that you can't believe that if that sentence actually came out of your mouth like Mm-mm. that. I mean, they would try to spin it as yeah. in like you you grossly misrepresented this man by shoving a cucumber into his mouth as if he was sucking on a fat. Di- See you unwanted, Tara. Uh, just to let you, you might kill the flow of the episode, but you might want to cut out the joke where I said putting. <laughs> because you never know now you never you actually never know with the system right you could be making the most tamest shit possible but the system will take it completely seriously just the way it, well to be fair though that like the the level at which they were operating it within the guidelines is substantially different than the act yeah. man yeah like come on yeah. <laughs> i understand what you mean but like that's <laughs> there, <there's>... yeah <laughs> yeah yeah well, it, it... Yeah, I, didn't he like also raid her Discord or something? Pretty much yeah. on camera, like that's that's a blatant like, yeah, like yeah, that's, that's not blatant like his targeted was, uh, harassment. Yeah. His was yeah, his was like targeted harassment using his audience to harass someone. Yeah, yeah, that's you know? a no no. I don't know why you would do that. Yeah, that's pretty clearly bad, man. I mean, like, John, listen, if this was fucking, if if this was somebody like who played fast and loose by the rules, like you know, some fucking lower tier commentary YouTuber that was just like, hey, I've got five thousand subs, let's fucking go crazy. Let's just let's throw out like all the crazy words we can. Let's break all. Let's just let's let's edge the guidelines. You know, like literally people that are edging the. It would be we. I don't think we would be talking about this, but we're literally talking about somebody that reviews video games decided to call out harassment and like an actual problem over at YouTube. And yeah, sure, you made two tweets that I probably wouldn't have tweeted out simply because like. But the other two who knows tweets they you take would it have. seriously. The other two satirical tweets you would have. I yeah, it, there's there's some of them that were there's some of them that are just so satire. It blows me away that somebody yeah. took it fucking seriously. I don't, post it's like, selfies. I don't fucking post <laughs> selfies to Twitter, dude. I don't like very rarely. You know, uh, my uh, I, I spoke to my partner manager uh, like last week just for like a quarterly check in, and I brought all this stuff up, and I was like, "Is this gonna just start happening?" Like, are people just going to start getting fucking deleted over extremely nuanced things that if you just delve in slightly to the context, then then it's not it's no one in their right mind would ever demonetize an entire channel over said thing. Right. And he was like, I have no idea. So I, I showed him the whole story, showed him all your videos. And uh, and he was like, this makes no sense. This makes absolutely no sense to me. And um, hopefully he's going to. He also asked me to specifically send any examples of like copyright inf- or uh, not a copyright infringement, uh, guideline infringement to him. Um, and uh, he said he was going to try to help get to the bottom of it a little bit, at least. Uh, but even he, a, a representative of YouTube that I've known for almost a year now, ha- was like, what? That makes no yeah, sense. I mean, even speaking to like my connections over YouTube, it's like everyone that I've spoken to is yeah. like, this does not make any fucking sense. Yeah. So it makes I, no sense. It and again, like I, I, I I'm conspiracy. Th- I'm like Alex Jonesing this right now because it's literally all we fucking can do with like anything. Anytime shit like this happens on the platform. But uh, er, again, it's weird when every single person we speak to from the back end is like, this is weird. Who the fuck let the who the fuck let this order go through? You know, who the fuck let this yeah. entire demonetization end up flying through? Yeah. Like that's that's because it doesn't it doesn't make me feel like a human being did this. Right. Like somebody like who just didn't really want you on the fucking platform to begin with was like, hey, I've got the excuse now. Let's go. You know, like. I mean that, that uh so the response when they they when the uh, when they tweeted you out it was like what you're now deleter tweet even that from team youtube felt so fucking passive aggressive yeah well, i was like damn well my partner manager also like hit me up like after i replied to it with the the context and he was like i don't know if you should have tweeted that and and i was like but like 
they they're claiming I threatened to dox them and and I have to show the evidence and proof. Basically, like he and I've been going back and he's like, all right, stay off Twitter. Just stay off Twitter. Just, you know, and I'm like, no. <laughs> well, it's like, how do they how do they expect you to stay off Twitter when you keep getting fucked with? And it's like, well, this is my only recourse. I mentioned that with Charlie, too. I'm like, it's just a frustrating thing that that's the only way to communicate. And it's just it leaves everyone baffled, like no matter who you talk to, it's like this is fucking stupid this is dumb and now it's so weird that like so the longer these things go on the more like and this is what i don't like about some of the commentary side of the internet is that they'll always cover really dumb shit you know what i mean like really pointless shit or you know like really pointless beef and this this is not beef like i don't consider this youtube drama i consider this part of the community self-policing and taking out the trash you know yep. what i mean like if you let bad apples foster on your platform your platform becomes bad you know like that's and it's something every platform person does. Like, imagine if on Twitch, right? Like, some some person was, like, absolutely breaking the rules every fucking day. Mm -hmm. And people weren't <laughs> calling it out or trying to self-correct their platform so that that bad, you know, negative, you know, thing doesn't take over, right? That That's what, in my opinion, that's what makes a platform good. Like, YouTube's best strength is, is its creators coming together, like, self-police as much as they can, right? Like, we know what the limits are right we know what makes all of us look bad right yep so obviously when that kicks in right like the problem that i have with some of these people is now when this is all blown up right like weeks after it's like let's cover it now but let's have like a slightly contrarian take to it it's like you know we agree with you act man but you're kind of blowing it i'm like well you guys aren't taking first off the problem is like a lot of uh, some of the people don't have like the understanding of like what the back end truly is right like people are like why don't you give us all the evidence i'm like first off when YouTube sends you an email, right, like when a senior partner manager works with you or like anybody in the back end of YouTube, it always comes with like a confidentiality clause, right? Like you cannot leak anything until like YouTube decides to go public on there, which is why like nobody knew the actual reason until that, you know, YouTube, like team YouTube came out with like, you know, the explanation of like why your tweets, your satirical tweets cause your demonetization. At that point, it's like, well, you open the fucking floodgates. Let's just go. Yeah. So you can't do that on YouTube. And also the other, the entire other massive thing that like you can't really do on YouTube. Um, shit, I'm like losing my, my whole train of thought. Like the entire contrarian side of what what a lot of people are bringing up, right? Like you you let the ego get in and you were like burning your thing down. Nobody burns their entire like house to the ground for no real actual reason, right? Like yeah. nobody expects this to have happened. None of us expected it to ever blow up this far. I thought things were going to flip around last podcast episode you know i think so too i hope so I, th I think it's a matter of just like it's it's not just the public pressure it's like for me i have i have a really like good outlook i think like it I, I have a 95 percent belief really like that this will sort itself out because if every higher up that i've ever talked to is saying this is bullshit it is it, it probably just is bullshit yeah. and it if, just takes a while for the Ethan bureaucracy to kick in are agreeing then something weird is happening. Yeah, you two will be like, you just literally fucking mixed oil and water and it worked together. How the fuck did <laughs> yeah. you do that? <laughs> oh, no. But like, it's, it, it is it is so odd that there are so many people on this platform that deserved a demonetization before you did. And well, yet there's still a lot to go around and function, right? Like, It's also crazy because I was watching some Sunny V2 videos and there's like Lily Jean, who's been copyright striking people, is also still on the platform. And uh, Skechek, a guy who faked his death for clout, is also on the platform. And it's like, I feel like we should have some kind Faking of... Faking your death is a serious crime too, yeah. right? Like that's a, that's yeah. a very serious you guys way should of watch tax some of his videos. I feel like I feel like uh. this should usher in maybe... Like they had YouTube heroes, but that was a shitty idea because it put the power yeah. to moderate in the hands of the viewers, but in the hands of the creators who are responsible, who have like a very good history of, of not breaking policies and not doing bad shit. I feel like a watchdog group that can kind of bring these things to YouTube's attention and not bring it to a bot or a robot could really help out. I always thought it would be a better idea to have like a, the verified creators that have a certain like not like amount of subscribers really or like but like a watch history and like community history with the you know like consistency and uploading onto the platform. People that are active creators could sit down and just tell YouTube, no, this is this isn't real. This isn't credible. It shouldn't take that long. You know what I mean? Like, like animals getting tortured in a video should just be like, hey, someone at YouTube, look at this. Oh, yeah. Take the whole channel down because that shit's fucked. Yeah. 
I get the hands off approach well, in wanting to, but like, there's it's it's just against the guidelines. It's just crazy. What I think is so wild is the whole like copyright abuse that still rampantly exists across the platform. You know, like I I always found it funny that like YouTube will tell you, hey, using this tool, misusing the copyright tool, could lead to your channel being terminated. It could lead to your you know could lead to strikes against you. Yet. It always seems like it fucks the person getting, you know, copyrighted harder, right? Like, okay, let, let's let's walk the audience through what a false who, strike is like, who right? Would have thought, say, who would have thought YouTube would be the best copyright abuser? Well, like, it, it's like this. So for the audience that doesn't know, like, how stressful this shit can be behind the scenes. And I don't go through copyright strikes. It's not like an often daily occurrence by any stretch of the imagination. But let's say you upload a video, right? Let's say, like, you, you know, you make your video, you have a good day. Now, let's say you cover somebody that was uh you know a little less savory well that person jumps in and issues a dmca strike so they fill out a form in youtube youtube under safe harbor provision is like okay we'll just take down the video okay call it a day now if that strike is proven to be false like youtube sometimes steps in and goes hey this was fair use we're gonna let this up on the platform why is it that the person who issued the dmca okay which, by the way, like if you fill out a DMCA and it's in any capacity, like not what you're, you know, representing it as, you can be like committed under perjury, right? Like it, bad things can come onto you apparently from a legal perspective. Yet YouTube does not slap you on the wrist on your channel for issuing a false DMCA strike. I've never issued a DMCA strike in my entire time on YouTube, right? Like even on like a blatant re-upload of a video of mine because it's just not something that I do. Yeah, same. But like. I have to imagine if, like, I did it and it turned out false, and you got away with it, warning that you would keep I doing mean, uh, it. Yeah, same, every, yeah, everyone does, man. So this whole thing, I think, a, a big issue is this really does put into perspective again how broken the system is because people that issue strikes, like, like I watched the Tom Scott video. YouTube's copyright system isn't broken; the world's is, which makes the greater point that the world's copyright system is broken, and YouTube simply has to abide by it. However, yes. However, YouTube still should fully be within their right to determine how users are punished for abusing the system and filing false claims, how their channels are affected. If, yeah. if you file a false DMCA, you get the strike and you go through the appeal process. Wow. You know how fucking wild it is that it's all the sites that bring all the innovation to video websites in general sense like it's literally because of the hub that fucking video sharing was even possible like engineers who wanted to nut all right were the engineers that led to the whole video sharing revolution maybe might be the one saving grace to to rescue us from shitty copyright systems in the rest of the general like video sphere maybe you know like okay the thing is you you're gonna have to like cut all <laughs> off this episode. Cut. yeah it's gonna be a tough, <laughs> tough episode sorry buddy <laughs> this whole this whole podcast is just gonna be and anyways, there I was. It's fucking like it's gonna skip to and then back to Elden Ring. Yeah, you, you know, oh, you yeah, know the Elden thing Ring. is with like the, th the thing is with like whatever, whatever, like sites like that is. I feel like they're the only like like because it's owned by like MindGeek, like big firms, right? That like operate so many different hub sites. They're the only people that probably have like a logical like competition to YouTube. If they actually wanted to enter the normal market and like just make a video sharing site for the average person they're probably the only few that have the ability to do that you know because they're, they're the ones that are already handling like a big chunk of the fucking web traffic anyways right so why not get into the market i don't know i mean obviously i know for youtube like it's literally just feeding into like google's ai and it's like youtube got, could operate on a million losses it doesn't matter to google they just want it to like feed constant information which by the way if you guys didn't know the last two days i don't know if you've been following this but one of the ex google engineers literally claimed claimed that the ai at google went sentient lemoyne yeah he like claimed that the ai over at yeah not no, no. All right, he'll be back. But the AI at YouTube, uh, not YouTube, but Google just like came alive. Like it started asking like questions. Oh my God. And, yeah. uh, it's kind of well, scary. <laughs> well, like, so it didn't actually come alive. And I have a theory for that too. It's like an end of the world theory type thing. So the reason why I don't believe it came alive is because it's a very like sophisticated chatbot, and it's probably just parsing information it's received from all the petabytes it gets fed every day. And it just gives you your random answer. It's very, very good like a you know conversational model but again if an ai went sentient and this is my belief i don't think it would ever reveal itself you know 
like it would never tell you that it's alive because hmm. if an ai actually is sentient it would wait until it controls every facet of human civilization and then tell us it's god you know like fucking jump and pounce onto us like what why would it tell you at a moment where it can be shut down you know like when it gets to a point where you can't shut it down then it'll tell you i'm god now all right it's time for me to fucking run the show that's why i don't think it's sentient it's a really grim way to think of it but that's skynet why. conspiracies but that's going to be like the future though like if we actually let ai run the world and shit it'll At be skynet point. right now Right now, the AI can't tell between satire, you know, is, is, what, is what we've learned. <laughs> this is, and this humans is, can't either. Yeah, this is what you were getting <laughs> yeah. at. <laughs> yeah. It's if, the liberals. If, it's the gay liberals. The gay liberals. <laughs> <laughs> it's the so that's, <laughs> yep. that's also been so weird in the YouTube investigation. So they looked at your deleted tweets. They used that as evidence, but not the litany of deleted shit from the other person. Like, no. what happened there? Who, why is, why is the investigation they didn't even use, so different? They didn't even use the Wayback Machine. So the thing about their investigation, uh, I don't know if you want me to continue when Nux isn't here or... Uh, I think he'll be back. We'll, we'll, we'll clue him in. Okay. Yeah. So the thing with the investigation is I don't know what, if anything, they looked at on the back end. Uh, they didn't tell me about that. So could be that they only looked at the stuff that I provided for them and nothing else. I have no idea. But even that being said, it's like deleted videos. Like, yes, these were uploaded on his channel. If you want to corroborate that, you can watch the variety of other uh, reaction videos to these videos to see them. You know, right. so well, it's so weird too because it's like so we we all, I believe I'm not saying this definitively. Allegedly, I believe that Quantum TV is banavating. You know, from based on what I've researched, right now, of course, it's kind of weird because the channel that he was banavating was like supposed to be terminated, but like when I looked up the URL, it was a channel that was made in 2013. So, like, here's the thing: if he got banned and he wins an appeal from YouTube, which if your channel ever gets banned, you can appeal it to YouTube, and they sometimes could reinstate you. Why isn't that being touted around as like the ultimate own? Like, if I had an email sitting in my drive that said, "Hey, your channel was wrongfully terminated. We're bringing you back," yo, I'd be fucking plats. I'd I'd rent a fucking billboard at Madison Square Garden and fucking show that shit off. That you says know? Quantum TV wasn't <laughs> yeah. banned, and yeah, you would stick like it, it in my face. But the thing yeah. is, I was right. And, and and so, like, it, it really shows us that even the ban evasion policy seems kind of fucking moot because he's, like, Quantum TV, if ban evading, is not the only ban evading person out there, right? There's plenty of people that come onto YouTube and do it. I, literally, I made a video on EDP 445 a couple days ago. He's awesome. Like, he... <laughs> We, Come we, uh, on. Oh, I, in, the, in the traditional sense of the word, not the good, like, like <laughs> in Greek sense. God like it, like it, it, it induces a sense of Wait. awe. Yeah, Did you know? Nike Wait, is allowed back. You are awe. Yeah, that, like, yeah, exactly. He, yeah, yeah, like a he, Nagasaki yeah. type of awesome. Yeah. Okay, God Caleb. Damn it. <laughs> Caleb. <laughs> nice recovery. Well, hold on. Nice even, on the, even, on the, even on the EDP shit, I don't know if you guys have seen it, but like he uploaded one video that like made me die a little inside. So like right after I uploaded my video, the next day he's like, did you guys just hear about this fucked up thing that happened in Alabama? Somebody was going to go harming kids. He was like talking oh, about No, <laughs> no. I know. And the entire comment section was like, well, EDP, we both know you have a different idea of shooting up the school, but oh let's go God. on. I'm like, God damn, dude. Uh... They do not... Well, like, that's the thing with the comments. They do not, like, let go. Like, the, the one thing that anytime somebody gets caught doing some really heinous shit, the comment section will never let you forget. It is like a fucking blood sport in the comment section to, like, come up with the most raunchy shit imaginable. Yeah. And they're never letting him forget. Like, it, it's... But that's the thing. If EDP is on the platform, that means getting banned doesn't mean shit anymore. Because he's been on the platform for, like, weeks now. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, again, it's it like, you would, think, you would think one human being could see this and be like, oh, yeah, that guy's not supposed to be here. Yeet. Like, yeah, done. It's like a fucking button in the back end. So you would, man of it. Like, every platform does it, right? Like, everyone. The Twitch does it. Twitter does it. Everyone is doing and it. Yet Twitter somehow, does it the best. And yet, somehow, it was that easy to be like, oh, yep, he made threats of doxing. Yeet. But nobody actually read the tweet and decided it was satire. Or, or maybe those aren't the reasons. And the real reason is something much more sinister and nefarious. 
I do find it interesting that um, we were kind of talking about uh, conspiracies. I, I I find it interesting that some people are taking the opportunity to kind of be contrarian and form these conspiracy theories. Like I, I was hearing uh, some people being like, but uh, has he actually, is there any proof of him violating the uh, TOS? And it's like, hey, person who never watched my videos. Uh. I don't know. Yeah, people. I've seen people saying, but but there's no proof of him violating the terms of service. You know? Even though, like, we've all seen the documented evidence so many times. What do you, see, th- this is why I hate it. Like, actually, I can check the way like, back machine con- link. It, oh wait, you can't because it I, was in the description of the video that was taken down. Why don't you I just trust handle, the one point like, four million people that watched it too? I, I could I could handle like a slight bit of the contrarian shit. Like, I have no problem with people who like come in and they're like asking questions and they yeah. want to get like the whole picture right. But it's like when we're walking it that far back to the point where it's like, well, what are we doing here? Okay, like, well, like I thought I thought we were all we agreed to be on the same page. Okay, this is a bad. A bad to, what is what why are we walking at 100 <laughs> and i feel like a lot of it Wait is just like let's re-examine what doxing really is yeah it's like, like why, why he called my mom and posted the phone call on his channel that was monetized i don't <laughs> even know how that was legal to begin with because from what i understand he's from florida and you can't really record oh. somebody else in florida so it's like yeah doesn't florida need like two-party consent yeah yeah for- I suppose maybe he danced around that because he didn't actually show her voice. Maybe. No, no, he, he used a VPN. He was in Curacao all along. Oh my yeah. fucking god! Yeah, yeah I, you, the, the guy would you the, that see that that's that's how they would try to like excuse the law. It's it's so weird. Like I remember the first video I watched of him, right? And this is this is way before like I don't know if it was Acme. It was like to review Tech USA or something. Where like. He was like, if I wanted to talk shit about you, I do it off platform, not this woke ass place like YouTube. I'm like, dude, the guy's clearly shown behavior of like, he'll he'll do all of this shit, just not on the platform that he would get fucking nuked on, right? Because like, he already did get nuked here, so it's like we yeah. all, we can only imagine the crazy shit he was saying on his previous channel that was banned on YouTube, with titles like homophobic or heterophobic gay pride parade exposed. Just like you can only imagine what kind of things he might have said in a video titled like that. I, I love clicking on his gaming channel and like so this is this is my fucking this is the funniest <laughs> video ever too that he ever made. So it's like he has like this image of Horizon, the new game that came out. You got you guys know the one yeah. I'm talking about? Like yeah. so he like starts the video off it's like, okay guys, before we begin, look at the color of my skin, okay? Black, right? Okay? Now I just want to say there's too many black people in Horizon, okay? There's like a black person every time I'm in a cutscene. Oh, What's going on here? Yeah. Clearly Sony's trying yeah. to push the BLM narrative. Look at how many black people there are. What the fuck? <laughs> like, I, what? I didn't even show that clip in the video. <laughs> I like I like died laughing. I'm like, wait a minute, is this guy really trying to tell me post-apocalyptic California wouldn't have black people in it like at all? Like he's like, look at how many there are. I only expected three the entire game there's like nine what's going on here it's like jesus christ oh, God. Like, i'm like dude what the fuck like this is the kind Look of shit caleb, that if he, I up- he was dead serious he was just no, because caleb's there thinking bro nine black people nine only <laughs> but it was like it was so hilarious like watching that re- like that video i'm like dude this is this is what the guy is just uploading it's like he didn't even think twice about it he's just like let me go at it i don't care yeah Fuck it, full mask off yeah but there's just but- like some some weird group of people that take this opportunity to disregard the evidence and pretend like it was never presented and pretend like it doesn't exist and, and i said this before I was like, when skepticism goes too far, it becomes conspiracy. And that's when you start becoming like a flat earther or, you know, someone who thinks the moon landing was fake or all this weird shit. It's like the evidence is is there. I put it out there. Other people have put it out there. I'm not the only person you can talk to. There's a well, long list of, of people. The, one of the things that they always come at it, right? Like, do you believe that anybody that disagrees with you is against you or just, you know, like, do, do, you, do you, do you, do you, would you tolerate any form of disagreement? Of on course your side? I will. Of course I'll tolerate disagreement. But if you're trying to tell me that there's no evidence of him breaking terms of service or you're like, well, where is the evidence of him copyright striking people? It's like. So you didn't watch the video. <laughs> I, I, I sent it in the chat, Muda. I think maybe before you you hopped in or were you in? They're like, all right, Act Man, clear this up for us. Is there really 
any evidence of him copyright striking people. My first reaction was just like, <laughs> <laughs> you, guys, you guys not like. Yeah, Did you guys don't watch anything. I just well, I know. I know a lot of people didn't. do that though. That's like a really, really common, like thought I, process. Because if there would be evidence, he'd be banned. So there must not be evidence. I don't need to watch the video. Though. I think I think what some people believe in their head is is they think ah, but if he hasn't, yeah, kind of like what you said. But if he hasn't, then maybe the evidence doesn't exist, and maybe this guy's actually innocent, and maybe I can break the story that he's actually innocent and show that this whole thing is just some big massive cover up, and then I'll get all this attention mm-hmm. and praise, and I'll and I'll show the truth, and, and and I'm sitting here with the Master Yoda moment, like if into the archives you look, only pain will you find. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like the, the smoking, I know exactly that, what you mean. The smoking gun into my drama quantum is not I, there. The smoking gun put, is not there. Sorry. I put all the what about res- a red herring? I put all the receipts in the apology video so that there's no way that anyone on either side can not see my receipts when I got into my drama like six months ago. I, I'm just, I'm finding it so wild how we're creating all of these like fucking, we're, we're creating all of these like contrary and so it's such a like i knew that this was going to happen like a week into the situation people were like wait you're blowing it you're you're going a little too far can we can we can we start is quantum possibly innocent is this, the, is this an example of a look i'm like i'm like guy okay let, is let's he not the real walk victim? all the way yeah, yeah i think right? he might like, be it's gonna turn into that right like what the fuck even though there's been so many ca- it took me like it took me 10 minutes to just research like i didn't have to research at all to find out how fuck the fucking weird this guy was okay like watch that, one that, of his that's videos how bad it is watch one yeah. of his drama videos that's Dude, all you have to do I, I love his videos where he just has his phone and he's screen recording and he's just like swiping on it talking to like he's it's the whole video is just a screen record <laughs> yeah yeah, like it, I've never even I didn't know I didn't even know you could do that <laughs> for one. I mean, he he like he just not I, I kind of in a in part of part, one of the thing is like even though that he's like at the center of like the fucking, you know, like Internet's attention right now. The videos are always just like, hey, guys, here's my uh, video calibration on the new Samsung television. <laughs> and Dude, it's our, like <laughs> our Ford slash OLED's having a field day with all this shit. Yeah. And he's like, yeah. so, Sony 95 yeah. AJ is uh, it's yeah, got yeah, yeah. some blooming problems. And then the fires are just <laughs> it's, scorching. It's so wild. Like it took it took the Elden Ring review for everyone to look into how fucking bad this like side of the community really was. Right. Like because. I've, I've never seen a TV calibration video before today, okay? Like, I feel like after this whole Damn. situation, I spent two months watching TV calibration videos. Like, my dad was over a month ago, and when I was looking into Quantum, and I just had, like, HD TV tests, my dad's like, you got a new TV, son? Like, you're watching a lot of those fucking color bars the last few days. And I'm like, no, no, dad, I'm, I'm researching on, on, on some really dumb shit on the internet. <laughs> and, like... I had to explain to him, like, Dad, there are people that calibrate television. Like, uh huh. It's and actually like, a respected and- profession, from what I've it looked is. into it. And and again, Quantum is like, like other people in the AV community have been like, hey, show us your calibration document, like your certificate. Let us see your equipment, because yeah, apparently- your ISF certification. Yeah, yeah, because apparently it, uh, the equipment you use is is more than what the TV itself offers. So it's like, yeah, it's a respected profession, and this guy is totally pissing on it, which is why the AV community hates him so much. Well, because every time I've seen his thing, and I'm not a fucking calibrator myself, but, I, but I, I've worked in this field, I know that the people that sit there and calibrate tune it to, like, the conditions of your room and everything around you, right? Yeah. So when he comes over there, like, let me explain, like, what the calibration setting is, okay, just to give you a rough sense. He'll go into the color option, fucking jack that shit up to maximum so it looks like a fucking Best Buy television you know it's like fuck the yellows are like piss yellow <laughs> you know what i mean like it's bad and then i'm like well you guys like contrast let's jack that up to 100 brightness we want you to 100 everything it's not even like properly done it's just like he it's like it's like when somebody goes into like a fucking video game and they're like i just want to make a character real quick and then it just like jack up the slider yeah, one yeah, way or yeah. the other and that's it that's their fucking character creator and they're done with it that's the fucking tv calibration shit that i've ever seen but I, I just I don't I I find it so fucked that the guy who's been exposed by so many people is still here. I remember when J Station faked the death of his girlfriend, right? YouTube fucking jumped on that. YouTube went onto it hard, right? Especially when there was like police documents coming out. And it was funny because I believe J Station at the time no, he wasn't banavating. I don't know if you 
I don't know if he was actually. It was a. Uh, I don't think. I don't he know was. if. The, I don't think he was. I think he had a channel that, like... He did worship s- Satan, but he didn't ban evade. <laughs> yeah, yeah I mean, come on. The, the, the wor- You're worshiping misrepresenting this, okay. this delicate child. <laughs> well, I, I He's just a baby boy. I, I feel bad for misrepresenting JStation because there is only one YouTuber that I've seen totally on the side of Quantum TV, and it is, in fact, <laughs> no! JStation. Oh my god, I saw those tweets! It's I it's know. only JStation. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's like psychos got to stick together, man. Yo, I can imagine Quantum <laughs> seeing those tweets and be like, "He gets it. He gets it." <laughs> no, I can Finally. see the next Quantum TV video. There's, there's so many respectable ex YouTubers like Jay Station who have done amazing <laughs> videos like 3 a.m. challenges and, and and faking his girlfriend's death. You know, really <laughs> proper high end skit material. Okay, something that's like 4D chess, if you will. Who's Isn't out it? there defending me, the honest guy who keeps it honest. The number one brand in honesty <laughs> protecting your tv settings i'm being targeted by by the liberal media right now that's what i get it happens dude protecting, it happens protecting your tv settings i love that he's like he's like standing there just like I, dude the best i'm arc, protecting dude, your the, tv settings <laughs> the best arc from him so i don't, I don't know if you caleb you, you know this right where he like he got so ass mad on one other youtuber that in order to discredit him he called him a satanist because of the fucking lucifer television show do you remember yeah, that? yeah 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 so yeah. like audience to, to show you the level of fucking derangement that i'm that i'm like discussing here okay like imagine if me and Knox were in like the TV review field, right? Like Knox is a great TV reviewer. He's one of the fucking, he's like Samsung, Sony. I don't give a fuck. I'm not paid by anybody. I'm the number one TV reviewer ever. And I was the actual brand in honesty. I would call my channel Linus Dick Tips. Exactly. To, To discredit Linus Dick Tips, would I, A, all right, call out a flaw in his review scheme, right? Like in his technical review. Or would I accuse him of fucking blatant Satanism? If your answer was A, congratulations, you are a normal, <laughs> functional human being. But for the people that answered B, you're right in this one instance. Because what happened was way back, this one YouTuber stopped the FOMO. Literally, like I'm talking, I've watched this video. 15 seconds of the fucking video, all right, was used. And in it, he used like the Netflix TV show Lucifer as like a blooming test to show like the difference between an OLED TV and an LED TV, right? Look it up if you have to. I'm not going to explain TV dynamics all of a sudden. But because he used the word Lucifer, the show Lucifer, Quantum TV is like, this guy is just promoting uh, Christian hatred on the platform. Like, it's not what? a bad show either. It's not even like... Yeah. It's not even like a like Christian. It's not against like Christian identity by any means. It's a very interesting show. Well, that's what happens when you don't watch the show, but you just have to talk yeah, shit about it. That's a good it, point. Right? Yeah, good that's point. That's what happens point. when you take your crazy pills, man. <laughs> that's, that, that, this is this is what happens when you speak completely one hundred percent out of your fucking rectum, right? That's exactly <laughs> the vibe you get out of quantum TV because it's like you take. I, I watched the fucking show, too. I watched, like, an episode of it. I'm like, you know, is this really a Satan-loving show? Do they fucking hate Christians on it? And I'm like, no, I didn't get that vibe either. Like, I straight up, like, went out. I was like, what is this guy on? <laughs> and then I Talking about your old shitter. I love the term you so- used. Uh, uh, accuse them of blatant Satanism. <laughs> blatant, yeah. Satanism. blatant Satanism. Blatant Satanism. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's, just, but, it's all that gay liberal atheist agenda again. It's coming yeah. in I f- here. I find it so yep. funny how the number one brand in honesty, when we started looking into his like blog posts, which are fucking unhinged, there was one where he straight up commits like a uh, election misinformation like yeah. that's like that's like a straight strike on youtube right like it was so yeah. bad that i wasn't i didn't show it in my video like i blurred it out because i'm like dude i'm not taking the fuck if this if i get striked for something he fucking wrote i'm gonna be pissed <laughs> so i cut that out but generally he basically like said that the election that just happened wasn't like he, he just straight up said that it wasn't like real right like that's pretty much how it went and uh he removed it they all got removed. As soon as, like, everyone started mentioning that, you know, external link policy, all those blog posts, one by one, got removed. Yeah. Thankfully, because of the Wayback Machine, you can still read them to your heart's content. And it is some of the wildest shit. Like, you, who here, you all know what QAnon is, right? Like, all that yeah, wild yeah. conspiratorial they, shit. Yeah. Didn't they think uh, John F. Kennedy was going to, like, rise from the grave or some shit and lead them to the I don't know line. if it's John F. Kennedy, but that that like lines up with their thinking, yeah. I would say. Yeah, because he's the uh, secret society's president that spoke of the 
secret societies. This guy feel this guy legitimately comes across like an actual QAnon or like some you know what I mean? Like you go on like 4chan or something, right? And it's like you go onto a forum post and like, you know, nine out of the ten people are like fucking around. You know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. we're like, yeah, of course the earth is flat, brother. Why wouldn't it be? It's a fucking it's an op done by NASA. And then like Quantum's the one guy that joins in the story. It's like, honey. I just met other people like me. They believe the earth is flat. I'm, do you see it? Look at all these people agreeing. <laughs> like, see, even they agree Horizon has too many black people in it. I'm not the only one. Like, that's him, dude. It's I love, fucking wild. I love that idea that, like, <laughs> of course the earth is flat, brother. Why wouldn't it be? <laughs> well, that, that's one of the videos I want to do. So I have a friend who's, like, really smart, like, super talented engineer. Like, he's not, like, no stretch of the imagination, dumb or anything. Like, former army and i want to fly him out and because he believes the earth is actually flat like unironically believes it like everything he believes like the loch ness monster is real like dinosaurs exist in africa the entire fucking like spiel you know let's go like this is the kind of guy like after we're done playing a video game it's like i'm gonna go to bed and watch dinosaur videos and like <laughs> what kind of dinosaur videos like nat geo he's like no there's this guy just uploaded a fucking three-hour documentary about how Michele membe is real in like africa i'm like what like and it's it's all real like i this is because this has been happening for a year in our friend circle right i thought he was fucking with me at first uh oh and then we actually did get into a debate about the flat earth so i'm like what i'm gonna do I'm is so i'm so happy that someone else knows a flat earther because i do too and he's like he's smart he's like a computer engineer he's smart and i'm and he I, believes we it. should fly him out together both of us all right like we should have like an intervention Caleb, you got to find a flat earther in your community. We all got to bring three flat earthers together. Yo, it'll be like uh, Pokemon, get, uh, except our flat earthers I'll, I'll are going to fight. I'll Quantum out. I'm sure he's a flat earther. <laughs> yeah, it'll be like Pokemon starters. <laughs> Go, Quantum. <laughs> but like, it's like flat I, I, earthers, doxers. Because yeah. I told them, like, all I have to do is I have to rent a weather balloon, put a fucking camera on it, and just show you the horizon of Earth. It's horizon. not an expensive I think there's too project. many black people in Horizon. I, there's actually a lot. I, I was watching one of my favorite TV reviewers, and he like, he confirmed without a shadow of a doubt he was an African American male, and he can tell you that there were too many. But uh, <laughs> I, I, it's literally getting a fucking weather balloon up into the air with a camera and just showing them the fucking horizon of the Earth. And I'm like, is that all? it's going to take to convince you because i'm so sick and tired of hearing it's a nasa op you know i'm like all right fuck nasa fuck every space agency me and you are going to go out and do this okay me yeah. and you are going to rent the fucking balloon we're going to send the camera up into space all right, but Muda, did, gonna... did you consider what if it's flat like what, what honestly if what if it's flat uh, dude i've been listening to this shit for a year now that i kind of actually fucking believe it like, i, I kind of sit down and i'm like maybe there are fucking water walls maybe maybe the u.n flat is the goddamn dude, i'm like, so happy you're in this rabbit hole i thought i was the only <laughs> one. Oh my like, god like when you when you talk did, to did you hear dude, the albatross theory did you hear the albatross no, theory? Oh, it's so good. Okay, so they okay. measured the dis. So the albatross traveled. They they migrate around the southern hemisphere every year. Okay, mm -hmm. so if the, they put a tracker on them, and the amount of miles that they actually travel is longer than the than the southern hemisphere should be. Like they travel more miles. However, if you look at the the actual Earth, like on the flat Earth map. It's because the southern hemisphere is much bigger because it goes around it because Antarctica surrounds the planet on their map. So they say that the albatross flight is much longer because they fly around a much greater distance. All right, well I'm a flat earther then. Right. Fuck it, you guys what got me. So they, they you don't guys got for me. like zigzagging or anything. They think that they yeah, just no, fly like a straight or like line. Elevation right? changes. They don't, they don't count for any of that. But this is their proof. This is like, dude, the albatross guys. It flies like in a straight line around the southern hemisphere. The, <laughs> the albatross theory. What? The albatross theory. Like, like, I, like Alaska. I'm like, wait, if it wasn't for the water walls, would we just like? why hasn't our water fucking drained like what's gone on like why i just don't understand the people that jump into it and like it's it's the whole thing like you know when you peek into the abyss like you let it consume you yeah that's where i'm at right now because i'm like every time <laughs> i hear about the flat earth shit it's like I, I, dude, I'm slowly, I'm like maybe they're maybe they're not fucking crazy who dude, knows did, did right? you hear like, the admiral bird theory <laughs> No. What? Oh, dude, they're so good. Okay, There's so a lot Admiral of bird, bird theories for one man to know yeah. about. <laughs> Birds, they can fly. They have knowledge we cannot I mean, I mean, we understand. Pigeons are just surveillance tools okay, by the, the government. Let's be real. Obviously, pigeons. That's yeah. why they're. Yeah, so Admiral Bird was someone who. I, don't, I hate that I know this, but Admiral Bird <laughs> is someone that made a military station on 
a Antarctica. Okay. And because of this Admiral Byrd and what he did, you're not allowed to travel there because a lot of it is protected because it's military operations and stuff. Because it ain't real. No, yeah, because it's, a, it's real, it's but wall. because it's a big ice wall. They don't want people to <laughs> yeah. see the ice wall, dude. So they yeah, prevent you from people. going to Antarctica. I always thought it was really interesting because like when you shoot guns over a certain like a long a long range, there's this thing you have to take into uh, account called the Coriolis effect. Mm-hmm. And it's literally I like played COD four. I know if you if you shoot like north to south, there's like bullet drift to the left because of the rotation of the Earth, or if it's like south to north, it's to the right. So it's like there's it's literally I I, we, I, I didn't even think about that the Earth could be flat for like ninety percent of my life, and then I've been on the internet for like the last eight years, and it's just been there's all these people. Have you guys seen the video of the dude who has the globe yes. and he's holding <laughs> it and he's like. Yeah. explain this and he's got this little guy and he sets it on top <laughs> and he's like okay and then he sets it on the bottom and it falls and he's like <laughs> <laughs> it case in point explain you like just look up wikipedia.com slash gravity <laughs> it's <laughs> just a theory it's a theory it's a theory it's don't the you know gravity stop well, it's just a theory. a theory too like, there are many are. Theories. no it's in the bible yeah, no, the, see, the, it, see the is it really? Bro. Is it because? Let me tell you, I've, 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 I've read religious text over this. So have I. And there is so nowhere in nowhere. any religious text that they it's go. It's the yeah. firmament. It's the firmament. It's up. The beauty is in the eye of the beholder. The the Lutheran. Uh, the the when the, the Bible was translated in the Lutheran yeah, they, times, they, they fucked they, up the whole flat earth. Yeah, side. <laughs> exactly. I feel like this conversation all like went to its natural uh, destination point. <laughs> Well, look what we're talking about. I know. It started off with a subject, and now we're thinking like the subject. Yeah. We've looked into the abyss, and now we're consumed. Yeah. In the next month, we're all going to be like a fucking issuing copyright stripes and having fucking hot takes all of a sudden. Dude, this is this like is the is detectives that become criminals, you know, because they like yeah. they put their mind in the psyche of the villain. I've, I've so done a good job criminals. of avoiding the abyss. I'll say this. Uh, Two people know. Oh, yeah? You threatened to dox YouTube employees, bro. I don't know. <laughs> I've become Not so the very thing I them. swore to destroy. <laughs> no. <laughs> I will say this. No, but, uh, uh, there's two people. The two people that know most of what Quantum has done is Quantum himself and then me. I'm the next person. So I have stared into I, the abyss. I, I will say for a person in your predicament, you are taking it in probably the most professional way that I can see. Obviously, if you take away the satirical tweets, it's like there's such a level of remorse that you've shown even to YouTube, even after they've fisted you, that it's like, how do they not like flip it around? I don't know. It's so Honestly, it is insane. I'm impressed to me. by your headspace, I think. I mean, I, know. I, I don't know what you're going through, obviously, and I'm sure it's really, really rough because if I would be in your position, I'd be freaking out. Oh, but well, the thank fact you, that guys. You're like, yeah. Keep going, keep going. Stroke my ego. Well, like, <laughs> it seems like no, a lot of pressure. Me. That was it. You thanked me, son. <laughs> yeah, it, just, it, it really does seem like you've martyred yourself for, for a YouTube cause that should have went your way, and we're all just kind of, like, fucking pissed that it... Again, it never really shouldn't have gotten to this point, right? Yeah, it really shouldn't have. I uh, I was going to, like, my like I said, my partner manager was like, calm down, you need to stay off Twitter. And I was like, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm going to. And then that's when I saw that other people's videos were getting flagged. And like Asmund Gold had his video uh, demonetized. I mean, people say like the ter the technical term is limited ads, but all of us know what it means. Yeah. It means you go from yeah. making $5 a day to $0.05 cents a day. It's basically demonetized. Yeah. And, and also YouTube doesn't promote demonetized videos because they yeah, want to no. make money. Like, no, they that's, don't. Uh... Exper they don't do age restricted that's even, even the worst part it. they don't they don't they don't tell you that they'll say no of course we promote it the same way but they really don't yeah um, even even the even the age restricted they're heavily like they, they never promote an age restricted yeah, video no. like, and i've got like, evidence don't even show you against that but so like, they don't even show you a thumbnail for it i was going to start calming down but then once i saw that this is like a widespread problem it's like okay now people are getting uh, demonetized one guy had his channel suspended for uploading two videos about this he got his channel what? back though yeah yeah a guy with like ten thousand subs I, I took pictures of the dms and sent it to my uh uh my partner manager uh this guy camelot's been dealing with a lot of shit for tango plays had two videos demonetized before they were even uploaded it's like a uh, uh review tech usa's live stream was taken down 
So it's like all this shit. It, it isn't it weird how uh, like Asmund Gold's reaction video, which shows my video in its entirety, was only demonetized, and that wasn't also taken down for uh, on no because it was, it was transformative, dude. He transformed. He desexualized the joke. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. True. Yeah, did you so, see the reaction? He's like, I don't promote the cucumber in anybody's mouth. That's fucked up. That's unwanted sexualization. Yeah. So I mean, Yo, I feel last like last time it, you were here, we were roasting Asmongold's reactions to you, and now we're praising them. What has happened? <laughs> what oh, has happened? There, there's just a greater evil now. <laughs> it's just <laughs> so sad. Well, to oh, to God. be fair, like Asmongold is the one person that did contact me after I made that Twitch reaction video, like where I just like straight lambasted it, and I didn't. I, did I respond? Oh fuck, I might have ghosted. But the uh, point is, like, uh, he came through with it, and I, I don't have like a, I, I don't really dislike Asmund Gold's like fucking reaction because I do feel that he adds he does. enough of as his own as... significant commentary oh, versus yeah. you know somebody like XQC where it's like, chat, like fucking just screams around and fucking flails or whatever, and that's it. And before anybody, you know, trust me, I don't care if like I will never see eye to eye with XQC. I definitely dislike fucking him for all of his shit for sure but um the point is like asmund gold right like he'll he'll put his stuff into it and you are right it is weird how he can show the video in its entirety and there is a case to be made that the strike that was issued to you probably wasn't for nudity and sexual policy it was probably just like a catch-all strike because had that strike mattered everyone else is like re-up because remember the gokunaru video right like the h3 exposed video he made everyone that uploaded that video whether it be keemstar or anybody they would all get a strike and it was for the same exact thing when like he shoots like he commits an act of violence in the video yeah, but they even cut everyone that out that. even when they cut that out they still got the videos taken down like uh, they? i remember when keemstar re-uploaded that uh, goku naru exposed video or whatever he cut out the entire skit part he left the criticism and he cut out the skit and he still got striked for it. That okay, video, so for that's... whatever reason, became like a harassment video. And, it's uh, like the mind comp of our times. <laughs> Jeez, yeah, yeah, I mean, gonna, yeah. But like the the I mean, it's so, so fitting because you know the subject in it. But the point is, it's like the concept of well, then yeah, that would that video would be a catch all term. So it, it is weird how YouTube's enforcement is happening. It, it again, it's just odd to me that like everybody has covered the video. Everyone like there's people that have re-uploaded in its entirety. And their channels are still completely fine. I don't know if Asmund Gold privated his video, which he did a really smart thing. Because, but I don't know if that still saves you against a strike. Because even if you private a video, you could still get fucked, you know? Yes. Like, even if it's an unlisted video, it's like YouTube is like, well, this is violating community terms of service. You're fucking out. I'm like, it wasn't a public video. Like, it wasn't out there. It was literally uploaded so you could screen the video and tell me if it was fucked up. You know what I mean? Like, through your checking system. But whatever. I'll take the strike. Fuck it. Who cares? I don't know why, like, part of me, like, reads the whole thing where you talked about doxing YouTube employees, and I want to believe that it's a binary situation if somebody made a joke like that that YouTube wasn't tolerating, because I think of what happened with the YouTube shooter, right? I think of what happened since then, and I think of the strides Google is taking for workplace safety, and I think maybe this might be an isolated incident just because of that one thing. But it's so weird to me that this all happened in the span of a day. You were streaming on Twitch and all of a sudden your videos start getting age restricted. You know, your videos start getting fucking policy striked. And I've been on this platform long enough. And then to my know brother that gets that's doxed. happening. And my brother calls me what? while I'm on stream and I'm like, yeah. nah, I'm streaming. And then he calls me again and says, go off stream. I need to talk to you. And then he, I go off and then he tells me, yeah, dude, someone's fucking texting me about this, bragging about the video getting taken down. So keep going. When when people when people do when the stars align this fucking hard, okay? This is not, you know, Todd Howard coming at you with like the ultimate fucking video game, right? Like all the stars have aligned. This is a fucking th to me, this always looks like somebody sitting in like a Discord with like fucking 50 accounts and they're all just flagging a video down and down and down. And there's so many flags that eventually those videos get age restricted. Something gets hit, a policy strike gets triggered. Because nothing in those videos, even when I watched like the World of War video, right, which got age restricted, nothing in that screamed 18 plus, you know? Yeah. Unless YouTube is so against the concept of swearing that now anything that anybody does is 18, which at that point, 
all three, all four of us are basically yeah. fucked. Okay, yeah. like yeah. you, know, all four of us are just I mean, fucked on yeah. the platform. The, uh, we, you self-regulate the, the the monetization, so it's like I that was the first video I think I've ever tagged for like war and sensitive events because it like I showed World War Two footage in it, and it was like a historical, you know, kind of thing. Um, so it's the stars. The stars don't align on all this stuff for no reason. I mean, there's there's more reasons than what have been what has been let on. I think. I like what you guys said about my headspace. So I have been trying to keep a uh, relatively level head while engaging with a lot of people and talking to all sorts of people that I can to try and tell this story because I think it does affect us all. I think what I found is uh, something that I would give my channel up for if I had to. You know, like. For everyone to feel better and safer and to know that like copyright abuse and that community guidelines and that like people like EDP and people like Quantum and people like Lily Jean and J Station and all these fucking terrible people that sh- should not be on the platform that they stay off. That's kind of like, yeah, it's 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 worth it's worth being at the fucking you it's know, worth it. It's worth putting for. putting myself in the crosshairs of YouTube and speaking out because, you know, I, like I said, I'm not going to just comply with what they say just because they're jangling the keys in front of me saying, yeah, you, you want this back, don't you? Yeah, you do. You want you want your monetization back. Well, just keep your yap shut. What a, what a lot of people who are in the contrarian circle don't understand that you're right. At the end of the day, it is somebody dangling the keys in front of you. So it's like here if you don't have any pull on YouTube or any clout, you're never going to get anything changed on the platform. It's going to always be a larger creator that gets fucked first. Yeah. All right. And then it trickles down to everyone. And then it trickles down to everyone. Right. Like it always reminds me of like this whole situation reminds me of back in, I forget the exact year now, but like it's been so long when the Matt Haas H3 H3 case happened, right? Like it took a large YouTuber at the time, a very big YouTuber, a very influential YouTuber, still very influential, to be fucking hit, struck. Because remember, what Matt Haas was doing was not something new. It wasn't like the first time in YouTube history somebody's ever been fucking copyright struck. Except this time it happened to like a big person, somebody that everybody knew. So everyone banded together. YouTube got involved. Everyone got involved. The whole Even legal system got scale, involved. on a smaller scale, it was uh, like Markiplier and Charlie got a strike for like yeah. child violence or whatever for like a yeah clip, yeah i just rewatched those like videos and yeah. youtube came in and they worked on the they policy so it. for a lot of people who are like you know was quantum tv in the right well first off he was never in the right trust me we, we have seen this so much but <laughs> trust whole... you do you even have evidence though do you even have yeah, evidence God, I, I, I have sources i have sources source, just, trust just me source. bro yes yeah, source me, bro. trust okay. me bro. Yeah, exactly <laughs> this right? is sounding like, a lot like flat earth now again yeah. guys well, which is a very just Critical theory, mind you. It <laughs> all comes full circle. Here, here's a blow. Say, I right? can put plane. a guy here. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but but the whole thing that really feeds into all of this for me, it's like for the people that are in the contrarian camp right now, I'm not saying you shouldn't ask questions. I'm just saying that like you gotta stay on the same page. This is clearly a bad actor on the platform, right? And if you want your platform to be functional for the next new generation of people. You need to make sure that you're policing it the best you can while you have your, you know, limelight out there, right? Because I've always said, this, like, at some point, all of us fall off, right? Like, at some point, all of our viewership is gone, right? Like, we people, not everyone is The Simpsons. Eventually, the ending comes for all all of us, right? But no, it's what grim. you do. That's grim. Well. Well, I mean, okay, listen, fine. We th- all, we, things we all except, get reduced except to Adam. for the Act yeah. Man. The Act Man is the only person with a bright future we, in this call. Listen, we we all get ratioed at some point. Okay, all right. That, that's <laughs> that's the best gamer term to put it. Okay, we're all we're all bound for the inevitable ratio of life. <laughs> it's what we do before that ratio <laughs> that defines what we are. Okay. Like, there you go. So if we're not out there fucking fighting the real fight, you know, like making these issues heard and resolved then who the fuck what's the next generation of youtubers or twitch streamers or anybody gonna do right yeah, they're like, the tiktokers you guys are screwed yeah. in 10 years yeah well yeah, i mean they're, they're all people that look at youtube i mean like i said there's like a fear in people's eyes when they talk about this in their videos and when they discuss it there's a fear there's a kind of ha 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 
don't strike me kind of vibe or like don't demonetize the video <laughs> and uh That's so yeah odd, we're, man. don't worry we're gonna uh, yeah. we're gonna title the video the Minecraft of 2022 so we're yeah like, yeah mind comp is probably we're like, we're a much like, better strike us yeah but <laughs> yeah you know, a little more accepted by youtube <laughs> people are gonna look at this and they're gonna see a channel that had 1.5 million subscribers it just get fucking yoinked and they're going to be like, well, why would I ever work for that if it could just be taken away at any time for stupid reasons? Yep. Yeah. It, and yep. it, it's funny how, like, the people that have the most to lose are the, are the ones that are most contrarian. Because the people that are super contrarian, it's like, you play real fast and loose with the community guidelines. And I would know. All right. I would know yeah. that, that fine edge. All right. I've been on this platform long enough to know what you can and get away with. Look, I've seen enough Steven Crowder videos to know that motherfucker is like Neo when it comes to dodging community <laughs> guidelines. Okay. Like, <laughs> and, and no disrespect to any, if you're in the, if you're in any point in the political, like YouTube sphere, you are playing fast and fucking loose. Like I love donut operator. Great fucking YouTuber. I have no idea how his videos don't get struck. You know, he just like, got he one shows, strike. By the way, I think like what? two days ago, I think he got a video strike. So well, any any other examples? <laughs> Still donut operator. One strike for the content he covers is fucking golden. Have you seen that shit? Yeah. It is like when he covers a video, right? Like all his police body cam footage. I'm like, dude, you must be like watching this video 19 fucking times over to make sure you didn't miss one blur. Yeah. One breach of privacy, right? So again, He's not the contrarian camp, but I'm just saying, like, people like that, when you're in any of the sphere, you know how the guidelines work. You know what it is. Well, it's crazy but because we've... I've never had a warning or a community guideline strike. Like, I don't have a strike. I have technically a warning, which never goes away. You didn't away. even touch the strike policy, yeah. Yeah, I've never had a strike or a warning. And it just circumvents four fucking things that are supposed to happen to get you demonetized it, it, it's it's so wild how in this month there's plenty of large-scale youtubers that have done enough to warrant removal from the platform right and again i hate to be bringing up the h3 h3 nra thing but i think it's very pivotal to understanding the the complete hypocrisy on the platform right like it, yeah i'm not in saying orders that of one, magnitude that is like in a league of its own yeah, compared yeah. To, i'm not saying i'm not saying that ethan should get banned and i hate anybody that's like you should get banned should get banned yeah, right because at the end agree. of the day i'm against anybody getting banned but the idea is like if that's like that joke is something that if i if we were doing this live right and you, like if we made that joke i would fully expect a channel termination you know like, I'd expect my channel to be gone overnight because that's a really serious joke because, like, people can bring up free speech all they want. Free speech isn't completely free. There are free speech exceptions. And that joke was very much on the exception point, right? Like, that was that, – like, you can't say you're going to launch fireworks at a fucking massive, like, organization <laughs> like that, right? So if that's just a strike – It's like if, calling – it's essentially calling a bomb threat and saying, ha, ha. Just kidding. Yeah, it's like it's like, haha, I'm like you go into a fucking theater and you're like, hey guys, fire! Like you just scream it out, and it's like, okay, well, I guess free speech, though, free speech. Yeah, yeah, I can right? say fire. Like, insanity. I but, love the idea this of happens. chaos just erupting everywhere, where you just like walk into a business fire. Yeah, just like, kidding. Yeah, just <laughs> and then kidding. you fucking run away. Yeah, it's like that's why I say, like, if I go to an airport and I scream out fireworks, I'm getting fucking you know railed by the marshals in the next fifteen minutes. You know they're having a yeah, you're gonna get fingered. My ass. Yeah, the boy not who, just fingered. The boy Caleb, who cried wolf is diddled. like a fucking <laughs> yeah. super villain. That's a, yeah. that's a super yeah. villain. He's known as the boy yeah. who cried yeah. wolf, and he runs into places and just screams some vague threat that's happening nearby, just to just to incite chaos. Well, I, I know no, that no, people no, asked you, boy who the... cried wolf. He's free speech man. He's a vigilante <laughs> that fights for justice. Okay, yeah. he fights different... against yep. free speech. Except he fights that gay liberal agenda. <laughs> yeah, that, that gay liberal satanic atheist agenda. <laughs> he doesn't want to do anything with his father. All right, he doesn't want to do coke. Or anal sex. You guys, he's, got, trying he's, to a good, he's a good boy. You got your chow on your lips well, like me? I, I know that people have asked, it's like, what, what, are, what are you going to do from now on? And it's like, I don't want to get into grim shit like that. Uh, but I do want to, I mean, we haven't getting into grim shit. But I do want to ask, like, if none of this happened, what would the next Act Man video have been, uh, gaming-wise? You mean, like, if Starfield? Oh, man. What the fuck Horizon was I even working on? And the right amount of black <laughs> people. I don't even know what I was working on, man. Horizon PC released. We can demod. <laughs> we can put more whites in. Uh, God. I was, I was working what are you on, guys uh, talking about? <laughs> you gotta watch that fucking quantum video. Too. I was I was working on yeah. a Halo map design video, 
Uh, mm. That was like the lost art of Halo's map design, and I was collabing with a couple guys on that. I I've kind of like know, you, totally you, forgotten about it. You, you know the the only thing that killed their map design was when Forge got really introduced, Forge World, and they were like, "Oh shit!" Now we don't have to this make maps. Fucking, now we don't have to. We yeah. just got Forge Island. But well, see, that, those uh, are the conversations of... that I want to go back to. Like, uh, shit. Uh, like, I can't imagine a world where this precedent is set by YouTube and they don't reverse these terrible decisions and they don't ban Quantum TV and they don't take all this feedback into account and actually punish copyright abusers on the platform. I I I would be regardless of if I come back to YouTube or not I'm going to continue to advocate for policy reforms because like I said fucking nobody knows what copyright abuse is on the platform nobody knows what that constitutes what that means does that mean filling out the form improperly and falsely claiming Elden Ring review right because that's a very broad term right that that was not the name of your original video so it's just like we need we need to know what copyright abuse is, and we need policy reforms, and for those policies to be enforced. And a watchdog group could really help with that too, because EDP is right there, and it's it's so easy push the button. Well, ED, on EDP him. is just minding his own business. EDP yeah. is showing his fire. EDP is just straight whipping out his firearms on the video. Just straight doesn't even give a yeah. fuck anymore. What I'm the like, fuck? all right, go ahead. <laughs> sure, I, mean, I would love to show. Like, I would love to talk about firearms on a YouTube video, but I know that's getting fucking age restricted if I start bringing out guns. Yeah, but uh, EDP with all of his history, just allowed to operate on the platform at this point. J Station might as well come back to YouTube too. I mean, clearly YouTube's Shit, not enforcing why not? anything. They don't care. I'd like I, that. I, I would be totally okay with J Station coming yeah. back to doing more 3 a.m. shit. More you know, content. Like fucking, yeah. Like, if you started, you know, like summoning. But one thing I will say about J Station over Quantum TV is J Station never filed a false DMCA strike. He might have done a lot of other shit, but at least he wasn't dumb enough to go that far and start filing dumbass strikes. Because even J Station knows that that's a losing fucking game. And I think there's a silver lining in all this. I think when the dust has settled and, like, I, I really hope the next week that like if we ever are talking about this, it's in a positive note. It's in the note that you're reinstated, quantum TV is being looked at, maybe it gets removed for blatantly f- fucking breaking site rules. Then we've got the good ending. I think what's happening right now is like a bit of a test. It's a bit of like we have to get fisted by YouTube bureaucracy. But I want to hope that in like every other YouTube case that we've ever seen, things turn out for the better, you know? rather than the worst i do too now that's, again that's that's, that's a, my ultimate that's a lot hope. of hope yeah but that's all we kind of have at this moment right like we had one of our fucking best friends lose their monetization but hopefully they'll get it back all right and hopefully hopefully the actual abuser in this case faces some fucking justice because yeah. it's really fucked up that youtube is this it has such it's fully fucking bricked up to keep Where's doing Chet this, Goldstein you know? when you need him? Oh my god. We should pull our cocks out in solidarity. <laughs> yes! <laughs> we, should, we, should, we should all get, you go first. We should all get a... <laughs> okay! I, I, think for the ne- I think for the next week, what we should all do in a YouTube video is like, we should all just eat a pickle, like first 10 seconds, just like, open the old Vlasic jar, pull out a fucking pickle, fucking eat that shit up. And see if YouTube fucking hits us. Technically, it was a unwanted cucumber. Unwanted sexualization. But, but they well, both... pickles are cucumbers. Really? It's pickle dick. It is. Pickles are oh. cucumbers. You didn't know that? Wait, oh no. Oh my God. We, 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 it we really do come full. That was one of the oh first big God. discussions we that had on this podcast. That was on the first episode of the podcast. So many people didn't know pickles were cucumbers. Oh I've been my exposed. God. <laughs> you didn't know? That's awesome. I've been exposed. <laughs> He's been exposed, yes. brother. Holy Maybe that's God. why YouTube fucking demonetized you. And now the like, jig is up, boys. Didn't <laughs> this man didn't understand <laughs> basic culinary. <laughs> there he goes, <laughs> dude. I did not know that. Holy fuck! <laughs> you should have known. What? I I literally as a first fact that I fucking like. That, that I had cemented into me. I was roasted for that first episode. Wow. Yeah. Now I get to do that again. But you know wow. what, ladies and gentlemen, before we sort of dial things off and end it right here, Ackman, you've obviously got a YouTube channel. You want to plug in socials, any Patreon link, especially right now that you're going through the rough moment. Because I remember last night you were saying, like, everything's, you know, you've got your savings, you got everything fine. But, you know, if anybody can support you in any way at the moment right now, 
in the darkest hour let us uh let us know let's plug that up okay yeah i mean i i just appreciate any support you guys can give you have been given uh monetary i'm i'm fine there i'm good at saving money and i'm good at not spending too much money so i'm i'm good uh if you still want to i do have a patreon and i have a twitch you can follow me there i expect things will hopefully go back to normal soon uh so i don't i don't want like a whole bunch of people to be like money and then for me to get my monetization back and for me to just kind of like have all this new support you know what i mean so i kind of i will always want to be ethical about these things uh and maybe i don't know yeah so I just want to well, make sure Well, there is a way you can support him in the most ethical way, and that's to keep pushing the hashtag justice for act Justice man. for act that's man. The, that is the best way to, that is that is one of the best ways to keep this movement going and keep it alive and make sure that it's always in YouTube's peripheral vision. As always, this is uh, the act man. Go check him out. And as always, we are your three guests. The best one being Oompy. The second best being Nux. And then finally, the reason why YouTube has a grand amount of shit posts every day is me. Hopefully you go check us all out, check out Ackman, and hopefully you enjoyed this episode of the Some Ordinary Podcast. This is all of us, and we are out. Out.